Welcome to our lesson about configurations. Let's go to the Configuration Manager tab. I'm going to right-click on Assembly 1 and select Add Configuration. Let's give it a name. We'll call it Config01. In the Description field, we can add some additional description about our configuration and a comment in this field. Let's scroll down to the Bill of Materials Options section. In this section, we specify how the assembly will be listed in the Bill of Materials. From this drop-down menu, we can select one of three options. Let's talk about document name first. This means that in the Bill of Materials, the part name will be the same as the document name. Configuration name is our next option. This means that the part number will be the same as the configuration name. The third option is a user-specified name. I'm going to select document name for my example. If we use this assembly as a subassembly, we can also specify how the child components will be shown on the bill of materials. If we select show the first option, the components will be listed according to the bill of materials properties. If we select the second option, hide, the assembly will be shown on the bill of materials as a single item. The third option, Promote, promotes components one level up. Let's scroll down to the next section, Advanced Options. In Advanced Options, we specify what happens in this configuration if we're making changes to another configuration. We've got a few options here, Suppress New Features and Mates, Hide New Components, Suppress New Components, and Use Configuration Specific Color. Let's take a look at the first option, Suppress New Features and Mates. When this option is checked, if we make changes to another configuration, let's say, for example, we create a new feature like a cut extrude, this new feature would be suppressed in this configuration. The next option is Hide New Components. If you check this option, new components in this configuration will be hidden if they're created while another configuration is the active configuration. Suppress new components. If checked, this option will suppress components in this configuration if they're added in another configuration. Lastly, we can apply a configuration specific color. I'm going to check suppress new features and mates and suppress new components. And let's click OK. Let's return to the default configuration now. We can simply double click on it or right click and select Show Configuration. I'm going to create a cut extrude in this configuration. Let's select the Line tool. Right click and select. Now exit the sketch. Assembly Features Extruded Cut. I'll accept the default options. Let's go back to Configuration 01. Let's return to the Feature Manager design tree. Here, as you see, Cut Extrude 1 is suppressed in this configuration. Let's go to the Configuration Manager. Let's activate the default configuration. We're going to bring in one more washer and a bolt. Let me just drag them in from here. Here's the washer, and there's another bolt. Let's apply mates now. Shift select these two edges. Mate, OK. And this edge, OK. Let's cancel out of the tool. Now let's go to Configuration 01, Feature Manager Design Tree. As you see, both the washer and the bolt have been suppressed in this configuration. Let's add one more configuration. Right-click, Add Configuration. I'm going to call it Config02. And let's scroll down to the Parent-Child options. I want to show you how the options in this section work. Let's expand the Assembly 1 branch. And let's uncheck Assembly 1. I'm going to check the washer and the bolt. And let's click OK. 
You'll remember that I unchecked the assembly in the parent child options control area. And now you see here that config02 is not available under assembly1. Let's go back to the feature manager design tree. Under the washer and the bolt, we see that the active configuration is configuration 02. Let's right click and open it. Now let's go to the configuration manager. And at this point, we're able to see where this configuration was added. Let's switch the bolt component of the default configuration. I'm going to right click on the bolt, select properties. I'll select the default configuration and then click OK. This concludes our first lesson about assembly configurations.